Hey, welcome back. This is a screen. It is connected to a classic Mac Pro 3,1, and we're going to see if we can put macOS Sonoma on it using the Open Core Legacy Patcher version 1.01. .01. This is an interesting Mac Pro. I actually have Windows 11 on here, and at the moment, it's the only OS. I did have Monterey on here, but my wife needed it for Windows 11 and that's what it's doing at the moment so we've added another ssd drive on there and we're going to see if we can get sonoma on but first of all let's have a quick look at windows 11. okay so we are seeing windows or a usb drive we're going to go with windows there's no labels i don't know why there are no labels but i know that that's windows and there's Perhaps an unusual site for a classic Mac Pro 3,1, a Windows logo. Although other people are running Windows on these, so maybe not that unusual. The minute I am running Windows 11 on an SSD, but I've kind of messed up some of my system files. So some of them are still on the spinning disk. So that's something I'm going to fix, but I'm just going to reinstall Windows 11 anyway and probably put that on a video. There's an interesting way in which we would do that. And there you go, Windows 11 running really 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 well actually okay let's see if we can get some information about this device this is called mac pro it is a mac pro 3,1 we have the xeon x5472s there are two running at three gigahertz we only have 16 gig of ram actually we have a 64-bit os on a 64-bit processor we're currently running windows 11 education i don't know why i'm sure i bought a pro license but when i typed the key in it came up as windows 11 education doesn't really matter so that was one part of the puzzle let's see if we can get mac os on here let me just check what usb drive i've got plugged in i think this is my mac os installation media but i may be wrong let's give this a restart and then we'll jump into the usb stick instead again no labels and this is going to make this so hard later on what we're going to do is we're going to install mac os el capitan so i tried booting directly into the oclp patched sonoma installer however that was patched specifically for a mac mini 6,1. This was like a learning exercise because I didn't know if I could use the same build image from multiple computers and it seems I certainly cannot. And I suppose that makes sense because there are some very different hardware profiles in those machines. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to install what I think is the last officially supported version of macOS on this classic Mac Pro 3,1. Once we've got that installed we will get the oclp or open core legacy patcher again and we will build a build image that is more suited to this machine we're inside the mac os el capitan installation screen okay and i've just jumped out because i want to go into disk utility this is not an important part of installing mac os via open core legacy patcher the reason i need to do this is because my particular classic mac pro 3,1 does not have mac os on it at all i only have windows 11 so what i needed to do was get a version of mac os that works on here so that i can then download oclp and build a installation for this one we won't watch the installation of el capitan because that's not important and then we'll pick it up again okay so we need chrome in order to download open core legacy patcher so let's go to uh, google chrome okay so we have google chrome do you want to install google chrome core legacy patcher getting started let's download and build the mac os installation let's get this file downloaded we're downloading the oclp here we go so we want to create a mac os installer i'm going to say i'm using exactly existing mac os installer uh, use existing install mac os sonoma requires high sierra that surprises me looks like we're downloading it again we're going to download a mac os installer so we've got sonoma potential issues you may encounter a lack of internal keyboard and mouse okay so this i think is solved with using a usb hub oh no my usb hub only has a usb c connection i'm gonna to have to use a usb c to usb b uh, connector let's just do that again download a mac os installer let's go with sonoma let's see how far we get so we don't need to watch something downloading i'm going to stop the video we'll come back towards the end of this 
I've not seen this before where it's telling me to install my quest and on what I need at least high Sierra. I'm guessing there's something inside high Sierra that needs to be there in order to unpackage Sonoma. I don't think this is anything to do with open core legacy patcher. I think this is a Mac OS issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly move back to uh, the Mac mini and I will build the Mac OS installation on that one and then come back. Okay, so I have built the disk using my Mac Mini. I'm going to return to the main menu. I'm going to close that. And we are going to reboot and hold Option key and see if we get anywhere. Mac OS, which is the default one. My Windows partition, recovery partition, install Mac OS Sonoma image. We will go for the EFI boot that has the OCLP logo. We can now go into Mac OS. So this is the OCLP boot screen. We've got Mac OS, which is 10.11 again, or install Mac OS Sonoma. So we're going to hit that option. Ignore the shaky cam. My gimbal ran out of power. <laughs> so when the Sonoma installation sort of booted in, the first thing I was told was I needed to connect to mouse or keyboard now as i said earlier on in the video i had to connect a usb hub because of an issue with usb drivers in the later versions of mac os so i wasn't expecting to see that error however it seems it's because i connected it into the front usb now i don't know if there is a difference between the front usb ports and the rear usb ports but when i connected my usb hub to the rear usb ports my mouse and keyboard started working again i only just installed os 10.11 that was probably a wasted step to be honest i'm going to wipe that disk again and have a nice fresh disk for mac os sonoma okay i made an error there i formatted the disk with the wrong disk format so we have an unexpected error let's go back into disk utility and have another look i use mac os extended uh, we need to uh, just wipe that again and we want the apfs okay let's try that again then install mac os and another unexpected error okay let me just see if we can find some logs okay we've got a recovery log uh okay i'm not sure what this error is not seen this before you see if this writes new data uh, new entries to the log each time it doesn't look like it okay let's look at our log uh, okay this is a bit more interesting every time i try to install it writes a new entry to the log so that is definitely something i need to investigate further now there are a few things on this mac that do not meet the requirements for sonoma so there's quite a few things i can go around and change to try and correct this but what i want to do is try and understand what this error is before i start unplugging things or changing things i am going to do some research but for now i need to get mac os monterey back on this device i do want mac os on here again so i'm going to stick mac os back on we'll put this one down as a fail and then we'll pick it up again in uh, a few days time when i've got a bit more of an opportunity to investigate what these errors are all right folks well it looks like we didn't succeed on this occasion if you have any questions don't ask below because i don't know the answer at the minute anyway <laughs> okay thank you for watching and i'll see you next week hopefully uh, with a more positive ending all right thank you bye-bye